Hello, my dear students. I'm Dr. Prajna Matheli from Government First Grade College, Dharwad. And as you know very well, we have already discussed commercial arithmetic as a subject and simple interest. We have solved many problems on it. Even for compound interest also, we have solved many problems. And now it is a time to understand what is logarithm because while solving the problems on compound interest, we need the help of logarithm. So let me explain you what is logarithm, how to calculate the problems on logarithm. So come friends, let us understand it very well. Here, I would like to show you the laws of logarithm, not all, only three laws because frequently in our calculations, we do use of this law. For example, log m into n. That means you are taking the product of two digits here. Two numbers are multiplied. In such a situation, if you are applying the law of logarithm, then it becomes log m into n is equal to log m plus log n. When you have converted the number into logarithm, immediately, instead of uh, multiplying, now we have to take logarithm m, logarithm n. Then we should add these two numbers. We are taking the addition, not multiplying. And then log m divided by n. Instead of multiplying, here the numbers are actually dividing. In such a situation, if you are converting the number into logarithm, then it becomes subtraction. Log m minus log n. First, you have to take the logarithm of m and also logarithm of n. Then these values should be subtracted. And one more thing, frequently we make use of this law, that is log m raised to the power of p. m here is raised to the power of p. Immediately, how it will be converted? The p has to be multiplied by log m. You have to calculate log m here. Then the, the number which is raised to the power of m that will be multiplied by log m. So, my dear friends, here it is the law, but how it is utilized can be understood with the help of solution of some problems. Come, let us solve the problems along with the solution, let us understand the application part of this law. Here, we are solving the problems and let me explain the problem first. Using logarithm, simplify 12.89 into 1.368. There are two numbers here. 12.89 is a number, 1.368 is a number. Here, instead of multiplying these two, we are applying the law of logarithm. What is this law? Here, there are two numbers and multiplying. So, the law is log m into n. What is m here? 12.89. What is n here? 1.368. So, log m into n is equal to, we have to take log m and also we have to take log n. Then, we should take the log values, then we have to add these two. That is log 12.89 we have to take, then log 1.368 we have to take. Then we should add these two numbers. And my dear friends, how to convert these numbers now into log? For example, how to calculate the value of log 
12.89. This is a question. And let me explain here what is the number of what are the numbers before point 12.89 here before the point what are the places how many digits are there 12 means there are two digits one and two 12 means one two so there are two digits minus one we have to minus one we have to make minus one and we have to write now it is one point hope you have understood for example in case of 1.368 before point how many digits are there one means only one digit is there 12 means there are two digits if it is 129 129 there would be three digits if it is 1164 one one six four there are four digits if there are four digits minus one means the answer will be three point if there are three digits means minus one the answer will be two point and here in this case 12 means there are two digits so the answer will be one point now the answer comes one point and Next, what to do? In case of 12.89, we have taken 1. And then comes now 1, 2. That is, we have to refer the logarithm table. And while looking into the logarithm table, we have to refer for 12. And refer the 8 column. There are columns like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. And we have to refer the 8th column. For the digit 12, we have to refer for 8th column. And one more number is there, that is 9. So for that, we have to go for mean difference column. There, were, there is a, one more column called mean difference. We have to refer 9 in the mean difference column. Then the value is 1103. I hope you have understood. Let me explain it once again. We have taken here, there are two digits, 1 and 2. So we have make it minus 1, that is 1 point. And then we refer the log table, that is 12 means uh, we have referred the 12. For this 12, the eighth column we refer. And for mean difference, we refer 9. So the value is 1103. And next for 1.368, as there is only one digit uh, before point. So it is 0. Minus 1 minus 1 means it is 0 point. And here we are referring 1, 3, 6, 8. So here we are referring 1, 3. So you have to remember one thing. First, before the point, what are the digits we have to count? And we have to minus 1, then we have to take the number. The answer should be written here. And after making this, we should forget this point. We should neglect this point. Neglecting the point, now the number is 1368. So this is the number what is left out. So for 13, that is 13, we have to refer 6th column. And for mean difference, 8th column. And you should add this. What is the value for 13 in 6th column? What is the value for mean difference for 8? Then you should add these things. And you, the answer will be 0. 1361. Then add these two numbers and take the total. And this is 1.2463. The addition, the total is 1.2463. So, my dear friends, the problem is now half solved. And what is the left out aspect? 
that is anti logarithm see you have converted the number into log so finally you should reconvert it you should convert it back that is anti log log means you are coding it then you have to decode it by anti log so now you have to refer the anti log table anti log of 1.2463 here the rule is reverse of log what you should do here you should not consider this whatever the number here 1 point or 2 point or 3 point or 0 point whatever may be the number please neglect it just to take what is there after point after this point what is there here it is point 2463 so we should refer the anti logarithm table there point 24 for point 24 see the column 6 what is the value then go with the mean difference column that is for 3 just add these two and you will get 1763 okay here point is put afterwards so just consider that it is the answer is 1763 then you come for this one one point means it indicates that there are two digits before the point for example see here we have put one point why we took one because the original number was having two digits one two here after two digits the point was there so we convert it as one since it is one here we should think that in original number there are two digits before the point so we have to put the point here after two digits so after 17 two digits we are putting the point therefore our answer is 17.63 if here there is the number 2 point then we would put here after three digits that is 176.3 i hope you have understood how we have solved first we have taken the logarithm and at the end we have taken the anti logarithm first is the process of coding and lastly decoding let us solve one more problem then you can understand it in a better manner here we have taken three numbers using logarithm simplify there are three numbers 16.325 1.91 and 0.8 there are three numbers so what is the law law of logarithm we have to write that is log m into n not only the two here there are three so i have taken p also m into n into p means log m we have to make then log n we have to take then log p and all these log should be added that is log m plus log n plus log p we have to make that means here log 16.325 we have to take then log 1.91 we have to take then log 0.8 these three should be added that is that is the process what we are going to do now see here what is the first one 16.325 how many digits are there before point that is 16 means 16 there are two digits therefore our answer is minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so one point we are considering and what we have to do now the after neglecting the point now 16325 so for 16 refer the log table third column 16 three column that is third column and mean difference 2 so the answer is now 2130 we have written 1.2130 next 1.91 what is there before point that is 1 means only 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so our answer is now 0 point then you refer the table after taking this now we are neglecting the point here so the digit is 191 therefore 
for 19 we are referring first column one means first column for 19 first column refer the log table that is 2810 therefore our answer is 0 0.2810 what is the next digit 0 0.8 here it is 0 so 0 minus 1 means it is minus 1 we have to take minus 1 here and refer the 8 8 cannot be referred because always a log table will be um, consisting minimum two digits therefore it, it starts from one zero that is 10 so 8 means 8 zero so for 8 zero we are referring zero column because point 8 means the same point 8 zero zero means also the same therefore for 8 zero we are referring zero column and the answer is 9031 since it is zero here we are taking minus one 0.9031 these three should be added and you have to remember one thing that here the minus should not be considered first we have to add 2130 plus 2810 plus 9031 and the answer is 13971 and now you consider this 1 0 minus 1 and here one is already there one uh, this thing since it is 13 that one extra is there here one plus one two two minus one is one final answer is one i hope it is clear for you and our answer is 1.3971 we have to uh, now convert it into anti-log that is anti-log of 1.3971 what comes here that is how to do it first you have to neglect this one just go for this 0 0.3971 means 0 0.39 refer the anti-lock table for seventh column and mean difference one just add these two and you will get 2495 after getting 2495 just you think where to put the point here one means it indicates that there are two digits before the point so after two digits put the point and the answer becomes 24.95 we are putting the point after two digits because here it is one if here it is two we would keep it after three digits if here it is zero we would put the point after one digit so while making the log you should minus one you have, you have you have to do minus one here two digits minus one means one point and while doing anti-log if it is one add one and take two digits if it is zero add one and make one digit before the point so this is how we have to make and my dear um, friends let us uh, solve many more problems with next law also what the next law says let us solve some more problems with the help of it in my next video let me conclude here and uh, please give me the feedback and uh, let us solve some more problems in the next videos and my dear friends don't forget to give me the feedback okay here uh, it's very interesting to have commercial arithmetic as a subject because it is very useful in our day-to-day -day life also so not only for the sake of examination but also for the sake of knowledge in the day-to-day -day life we should appreciate the subject and uh, we should uh, try to learn it so once if you have learned the tactics or the techniques how to do it it will be more interesting for you and you will love to solve the problems so let me end my video here and let us meet uh, once again with new videos thank you friends thank you